video. <laughs> I know, I just looked I you up and I, I saw it, your video. <laughs> you see something from the 70s. I've been doing this since 1969. Right here. That's me right there on the day of the assassination. Right here. Oh, wow. That red and white plaid shirt. My grandmother. How old were you? 13. My grandmother, Miss Vivian Neal, she was here visiting from Amarillo, Texas, my hometown. I had my Aunt Hattie Mae Williams, my Aunt Jeffrey Mae Spencer. We were all standing up on the corner right there in front of the Dow, that same building. That's right the, here? Yeah, that door, no, the door red building where you see the sign says, do not enter. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. No, your hand, uh, there you go, that sign Yeah, on that the door. red building. That's where I was standing, right there. So wow. you saw, heard all the commotion and stuff? And saw the puff he of smoke. Said the, he said the shot came, first shot came from right there. It did. The first shot hit Freddie and Kennedy in the throat from here to Did well. you see it? So him when he grabbed his throat. The man well, that they fired they always him. say he grabbed his throat. Yeah, from the front. Every doctor that saw him. And then he, and he went yeah. backwards. He went back and to the left. Look right here. I try to show everybody this. I know it is very graphic. Now, this is the original, too. That's why it's so old and tattered. But it's still, I can still see, yeah. That's, that's, the magazine was the same. That, JFK, the case for conspiracy. Those are the real pictures of President Kennedy in death. On the day of the Where's assassination. Where's his throat? Right there. But they're saying this shot right here hit him in the back of the head from the sixth floor. But they're saying that's the exit way. Yeah, and it's not. Yeah. Entry room. This shot hit him in the back of the head. Wow. From the sixth floor window. That is true. Lee Harvey Oswald. That's where the lie comes in that Oswald fired. No. Malcolm Wallace was shooting from the window. That's the man who was shooting. He fired that who shot. That? Mafia. Uh, this shot right here. That shot right there, ladies and gentlemen. Came from the grass in Oak. Where's the grass in Oak? Right there, at the corner of this fence where the guy's in the red tree. Yeah. That's the grass in Oak. All right, this shot right here, that's the exit wound of the throat shot. That one. Yeah. That's the entry wound of the shoulder shot. Freddie Kennedy was hit by four different bullets. Two 30 out six bullets entered his body, one 308 entered his body, and then a Remington 222. Three different guns? Three different guns, four shooters. Two of them had 30 all six. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll show one other thing and then I'm through. Give me another 45 seconds. I want all of you to look at that man right there. Now, you just heard her say she's heard this, and many people have. Because, ladies and gentlemen, in 1964, he first admitted he shot President Kennedy. He talked about it right there last week. He stood right there with Woody Harrelson. CNN was here and they interviewed him for the umpteenth time. Woody Harrelson. And you, said, you heard about him, James Fowle? Well, you, I heard you talk about him a minute ago. I thought you meant you'd seen him. No. Either. But Charles Harrelson, Charles Hitman Harrelson. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's James Files today. He was released May the 6th, 2016. He's on parole. He's been out of prison a little over two years. He killed three Chicago police officers. Pull him up on your phone, White. You got your phone there. Pull him up just for a minute. Go to do it. I want, I want you. I don't want you to just take my word for it. What's his name? James Files. Files. But he's up. the one who admitted? Well, he admitted it in 64. There he is. Who is that right there? That's him. Yeah. See that picture right there? Right there? That's right there. See yeah. that picture there? That picture, ladies and gentlemen, that's, they got that, that on your end, on your phone, they got mm -hmm. that from me. That's the original. Where'd you get the original? From the man who took it. Mr. Jack Larson, United Press um. International. That's James Files at the time of the assassination. He was two years younger than Oswald, 22 years old. Oswald was 24. Oswald had nothing to do with it. Uh, right here. It's Looks like Oswald, doesn't it? There's somebody in no, that, That's, that's him. Yeah, they did favor him. That's him today, and that's when he did the interview in prison, right there. That was last. So he saw him for a He did. That was from 2012. So that was that's the right. first. 2012. Yeah. He got out in 2016. Makes sense. But they could never prove it. They, they prove cover it. up. They knew cover it. Up. It was a cover says, up. We mean prove it. it. They knew it. <laughs> Shit, London, they know it. They hired him. And, fired him. and this, this guy right here, he fired the first shot that hit President Kennedy. The very first shot that hit President Kennedy, he fired it. That's Charles Hitman Harrelson. You don't know who Charles Hitman Harrelson was. Is that Woody Harrelson's dad? Yeah, uh, okay, well, you do know he is. 
That's Woody Harrelson's father. Right there. He's, he's in still, prison, right? Or he was? was he's he died dead. in 2007. But he, he was in prison, prison for murder. He killed murder a judge. Yeah. Judge John Wood. Judge Wood was walking down the street, San Antonio, Texas, July the 30th, 1979. And Charles Hitman Harrelson, he blew the top of Judge Wood's head completely off his body with a Weatherby 400 rifle. Killed him for the mafia. Judge Wood was presiding over the Jimmy Sharper and Noriega drug trial in San Antonio, Texas. I remember that day very well. Never will forget it. So folks being here that day and then of course seeing all the other assassinations, it was an engraved thing. I'll show y'all one other thing. Come stand right here. Stand right here right Y'all stand right here. And I'm fit to talk about that right now, ma'am. You sure right. What I'm fit to tell. What she just said. Because when that bullet hit President Kennedy, Miss Kennedy jumped out and grabbed that big piece of brain. Mr. Bowers, he was in that window. He saw it. And he saw the man fire the shot. Lee Bowers. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the 53 witnesses that were back here, out of these 53 witnesses, by August the 6th, I'm sorry, August the 9th, 1966, 29 of these witnesses were what? Dead. Dead. They were all murdered. I never will forget it. I won't forget that either. It was like every week, a witness to the Kennedy aside, and that I, I was my grandmother and my aunt, everybody was like, my God, what in the world? All those people were murdered. But Mr. Bowers, he was right there in that window. You couldn't have had, look at that. He had a, he was right there. That building's been there since 1943. What did he that, say? What did he say? Oh, he ran over and he told the police. He said, I saw the two men behind the fence firing. Uh, and he told them, as you know, they said one of the gunmen here, they called him the badge man. Why did they call him that? They were wearing a police officer. Yeah, thank you. They were wearing a, he was wearing a Dallas police uniform. They all saw it. Yeah. And they all come up dead. And ladies and gentlemen, right here, you can see right here, folks, before you go, you can see right here when all that happened. You can see right here, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to look at this. And this is the best picture of it, right there. This is as the shots were being fired. There they are, right behind the fence. One right there, one right there. And he was dressed in a police uniform. Now we'll forget it. They're not going to tell you any of that in the Sixth Floor Museum. Because <laughs> no. Sixth Floor Museum's full of shit. And they're part of the cover-up even today. That's what the Sixth Floor Museum is. It is the most monogamous, bombastic lie ever told that Lee Harvey Oswald fired shot from that window. Mr. Oswald was nowhere near the Sixth Floor. He had nothing to do with the shooting of President Kennedy. He was involved in the conspiracy of it, but Oswald was in the lunchroom. That lady right there, that's where he was. So we're for his prison. Malcolm Wallace is the man who was shooting from the window. Charles Nicoletti was on top of the Dow textbook. So they just lied and said it was Oswald. Yeah, and, and they lied before, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I say this. Listen to what I'm going to say. Listen to this and I know what, you, what I'm going to get. I always get the same thing. Lee Harvey Oswald, shot John Kennedy 12 months before John Kennedy was shot. That's the look all we get. That's why I say it again. Lee Harvey Oswald shot John Kennedy 12 months before he was shot. Because hmm. Lady Bird Johnson, London Johnson, Richard Nixon, George Bush, and Gerald Ford were already planning his death the year before on the government side. And over here, you had Santos Traficana, you had Sam G. O'Connor, you had Johnny Roselli, you had Charles Nicoletti, and then you had Jimmy Hoffa and the Teamsters. And all of them together, the United States government and the corporate actions branch of the CIA with the mafia, that's who planned John Kennedy's death. Where you see that little yellow dot right there on the sidewalk, ladies and gentlemen, that's where the man was with the umbrella. And we all saw the umbrella going up and down. He was the signal man that we'll forget. Him. So, folks, I appreciate you listening. I hope I gave some guidance to the crew. I accept small gratuities. People give me a little tips if you like. I don't sell anything, never have. I've been coming down here 49 years doing tours. The last shot came from right there, the grass, you know.